Shabbat Shalom to all of you. It's so wonderful to see you again in this short videos. We are gearing up for Shabbat. This Shabbat is very special. It's Shabbat HaChodesh. Translation, this is the Shabbat of the month. Why? Because it announces the, the beginning of the month of Nisan. Perhaps you remember that the only month mentioned in the Torah by name is the month of Nisan. Every other month is related to the month of Nisan. When we talk about Tishrei or the month of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we don't say Tishrei in the Torah. We say the seventh month from Nisan. So Nisan is the only one mentioned by name in the entire Torah. And this Shabbat is the Shabbat prior to the beginning of that month, the month of Pesach. So we have a special Haftarah and we have a special Maftir. The Maftir comes from Parashat, the bow that speaks about this month that is so incredibly special, the month of the spring, the month of Pesach. But in the regular Torah reading, we are about to end the book of Exodus. And we are going to begin with a little reminder of Shabbat. And we spoke a little bit that before on Parashat Kitisa. But mainly here, we're going to understand that the, the, the tabernacle is now about to be totally completed. It's almost done. And everybody is supposed to be in a happy mood because they have contributed to the building of the tabernacle. The Torah says that the women who did not want to give their gold and jewelry to produce the golden calf, as we read in Parashat Kitisa, are now very much willing to give of their resources to finish up the tabernacle. So we hear about gold and silver and copper and wood and purple and blue and linen and goat hair spices, precious stones, all that giving for the construction and ending finalization of the construction of the tabernacle. Each tribe, each prince of each tribe is going to give special gift for the ephod and the choshen. Betzalel and Olihav are the two designated artists, architects, artisans, engineers, we're going to oversee the final construction and they are not from any caste, any group, any religious group. They are selected because of their skill, because they have a God-given um, skill that makes them suitable for that job. And they have to be also supported by um, the congregation. They're not just uh, uh, selected by God. The Mishkan is complete now in Parashat um, Vayakel and Pekude, most likely. All the metals of the materials that are being used are all together. And we are ready for the consecration of the new month of Nisan, the vestments of the priest, everything is ready. The structure is erected and the furnishing are put in their places the priests are going to bathe and be anointed for the sacred duties that they will do. And a cloud indicating God's presence will descend on this finalized structure. Um, and it will tell the people of Israel, Moses, when to get up and when to move and how to travel through the wilderness. So now a great um, step in the building of the nation is being completed. We have the Ten Commandments, we have the law, we have a place where to put the tablets and we continue traveling through the wilderness. The next book, the book of Ayikra that we will begin next Shabbos, not this one, but next, will then concentrate on the worship of Israel. What kind of sacrifices are we going to make? And it begins with the list of those sacrifices. But we will talk more about that next week. We'll gear up for Pesach. 
Yes, we have to clean our homes. And we continue with our second and third sessions on Passover this Monday night at 7 p.m. and next Monday night. So it's going to be on the uh, 15th and then on the 22nd. All gear up for a wonderful celebration of Passover. I wish you a good Chavez. Now we can have up to 50 people. Friday night we're open, I think. Now maybe not this weekend, but next. And also Shabbat morning. And that's wonderful. We saw more people this past Shabbos and it was just such a great feeling for everyone. Until then, I wish you a Shabbat Shalom. Take care. Bye-bye.